hello guys and welcome back to my channel civil construction and tutor and in this video i'll discuss about how to set coordinates in field using the so mode of total station there are certain ideas to be known for using this mode at least two points with known coordinates is required one coordinate point is used for setting the total station and other is used for backside this is similar to the previous video that i have uploaded about how to find coordinates in total station third point is so that is station observation mode so that is the coordinate of the point to be identified in the site shall be required that is if i have to find a point a in the field then the coordinate of that station or the coordinate of that point a should be known to us and the coordinate will be entered in the instrument and targeted using the prism or in any non reflective mode this function of the total station may be useful in finding the center line of road pipeline foundation corner points of the building or bridges for now i'm using the so mode here in my project for finding the center line of the pipe so this is how it will be useful for the site engineers so after the centering of total station leveling of total station and finally correcting the till we come to a display like this okay it may not be the same uh, it may have a coordinate function here or it may have edm or it may have a so data then go to coordinate option okay so in coordinate option we have following three functions again now the very first thing OCC orientation so this is occupied station orientation the coordinate of the uh, station where the total station is set has to be entered so OCC orientation now here is N this is northing sting and Z so this is Y X and Z northing sting and elevation so the coordinates of the station where the ts is set has to be entered in this so these are the coordinates of occupied station and backside station as i will discuss that we have we should have two points with the known coordinates so let me enter the uh, coordinates of the occupied station 2986013.502 so this is the northing of occupied station Similarly, sting 5957.22.235 and finally elevation 1041.851. Now I will enter the coordinate of the backside station. Backside NEZ, northern sting elevation. So these are the coordinates. So now similarly here is we have northing sting and elevation so we have to enter the coordinates of the backside station we have the coordinates of backside station as enter okay now backside take backside so these are the angles to the backside station so without worrying about anything just enter yes now we'll come back to the screen of the coordinate function so here we have observation mode so now we have to observe to the backside station whether the coordinates that will be given by this instrument is matching with the coordinates we have or not so we have to make the observation to the backside station so that is our backside station okay check the level of prism also so now press enter and without changing any data here just change the height of reflector okay it should be the height of reflector so for now it is 1.28 so here we can see that the point is at the target uh, I guess little bit has to be moved which we can do by using this horizontal screw and let me tell you that the readings will not exactly match with the readings we have because i am working in the pipeline excavation and goes the work of excavation by using the excavator so there is a vibration so the point is shifted by a few mm so a precision has to be taken for now i am taking a precision of 4 mm that is the if there is an error of 4 mm in the reading i can consider it so now let me measure I have got the readings for northing, sting and elevation. So it is 2986025.507 but if we check our uh, coordinate we have for the backside station it is 504. So there is an error of 3 mm which is within our permissible range. Similarly sting 205. 
5.2.0.5 so it is a, a error of 3 mm which is considerable and for elevation the precision is more that is up to 2 to 3 centimeter it can be considered uh, we have 963 953 so there is an error of 1 centimeter which is within our permissible range so by this we have done the first step that is occupied uh, by entering the coordinate of occupied station and backside station and finally uh, by observing the backside station and comparing with the coordinates we have for the backside station now the second step is to so mode press esc esc now select so mode by pressing function button over here so so now go to so data here enter now enter the coordinate of the point that we have to find okay for example i have to find point one so these are the coordinates northing easting and elevation so 298 5858.067 Easting is 595 611.160 Similarly elevation 1039. Point, sorry 1041. Point, 090 check the height of reflector hr or we can say like height of the prism so now you will see a new display dha 1 degree 14 minute 26 second so this is the horizontal angle difference between the instrument station and the point we are concerned we have to make this point zero positive means clockwise direction rotation and negative means anti-clockwise rotation which we can do by using the horizontal screw once this point is set zero then we have to lock the instrument by tightening the horizontal screw so let me get this as zero so after getting this point as zero tighten this screw now let's try to make the horizontal distance difference as zero or nearly equal to zero as we have made the angle difference between the station as zero so the line of sight from the station gives the direction of the point we are concerned with so we will try to approximately locate the prism in the line of sight and try to make the horizontal distance difference zero so after the approximate locating of the prism we will focus to the prism using the telescope so after targeting the prism we will measure the horizontal distance difference uh, for now it is 10.150 now measure it comes as minus 0 0.558 meter let me change the display so you can do that by pressing f3 minus 0 0.559 meter which says that the point is 559 meter backward from the point where the prism is placed now the prism is shifted 0 0.590 meter away from the total station that is backward in the backward direction and again measured let's measure the horizontal distance difference so we get 17 centi forward this time 17 centi so the prism has to be moved 17 centi forward so let's target the prism again and measure the horizontal distance difference so measure so we get 0 0.003 meters so this is 3 mm so this is negligible so that is the point we are concerned with in this way we set out the coordinates in field using the SO mode in total station I hope you guys have understood the SO mode and how to use it in the field do subscribe thank you